So, you might, you look, look, you might be wondering what that sound is, and the answer, I mean, it's simple, it's just 15 Noibats all spawned at the exact same point, caught inside each other, trying desperately to escape, but they will never escape until one of them is shiny for me. See? Easily explainable. Hello, my fellow Pokemon trainers, one and all, and welcome, as today we go over a new, ridiculously effective shiny hunting technique that will guarantee you not one, not two, not three, but basically as many rare shiny Pokemon as you want, and all you have to do is stand there, because, well, this game is very broken, and these spots are very broken, because the spawns in these spots are very broken. Yes, it's time for our old favourite, some creative use of game mechanics. So let's get straight into this then. Now, here we are at the north of the Glacido Mountains. And if you come to this spot over here and make your way down to where I am stood, well, once you put on your sandwich of choice, and by sandwich of choice I mean any one of these, as the new most efficient way to get level 3 sparkling an encounter with any two Herber, well, any given Pokemon that can spawn in this area, of which there are many, Nackley, uh, you've got Noivern, you've got Lucario, Halucha, and so on and so forth. So you want to make the sandwich that matches the type that you're after. In this case, I want Noivern, and so I made Dragon. That's all good. Then you want to stand, and I do mean very specific, specifically where I am stood. If you look at the ground, you want to match the markings relative to my trainer and uh, very much stand in as close to this position as you can get and you can set up your picnic here to picnic reset. So do your first uh, picnic, put it back down and then look up on the slope and you will have this one specific spawn point which from you being stood here is the only spawn that will be valid for in this case. Noibat, so they will just keep spawning on top of each other, stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking. Occasionally they will spawn in a group with a Noivern, but that's fine too, and essentially we can just use this very specific mountain, this very specific spot, to endlessly farm these shinies without you having to lift a finger. Just reset your picnic every 20 seconds or so and have a little zoom in with the camera just so you can see if any of them are shiny in the pile, it will be very obvious, especially with Noibat, as the shiny is green, and eventually, ta-da! There is my shiny Noibat, looking fantastic, and I'm very, very pleased with that. So I was very, very happy to discover this spot, to make it work, and basically, this is what I want to convey here. The mountainous areas of Scarlet and Violet, of Paldea, all kind of work like this. The Pokemon spawns on them are very janky. Likely, if you want a Pokemon shiny that is uh, capable of spawning on a mountain somewhere, you can probably find a spot like this to force it to happen very specifically. But we're not done yet. There's another spot that gives some very desirable Pokemon in shiny form almost instantly, and uh, that's one I want to share with you too. Now, while I take credit for finding this spot for Neubert in the Glacido Mountains, I cannot take credit for the concept of mountain shiny farming, as for that I must give a shout out to Sukaruto Games, who has been pioneering this concept. This spot here then, if you follow me to very specifically this flat ledge over in the southwest of Paldea, you get to this area with a wind turbine on and various Pokemon milling about. So what we're about to do works for every Pokemon that can spawn here. Again, just choose your preferred sandwich and we can get to work. The two that are very, very nice to grab here are first and foremost, well, Annihilate, or I suppose in manky form, but obviously you will evolve it up, and I wish I'd known about this when I was hunting my own shiny Annihilate. I have one already, but hey, I won't say no to a second. So for me, I made the fighting sandwich, and it looks just so appealing and Delicious. What is the point of putting so much effort into a sandwich mini game if A, the whole visuals of it are just awful, and B, no 
no one would want to eat thee! But hey, that's not for us to worry about, for we are slaves to the Pokemon system. Much like the Pokemon are slaves to us, it comes full circle. Make sure you stand over on the left a little bit, basically where I am stood, so you exclude Makahita from spawning, and then you will just get packs on packs and packs of monkeys, and you picnic reset, and get a load more, picnic reset, get a load more, and you will eventually get your little green fuzzball, and that is really, really awesome to see. This one is ridiculously effective. They absolutely just stream in, and it's very, very neat. Then we have the other particularly good Pokemon to grab here, and despite me finding it a very kind of Ah, shiny. It is Armor Rouge and Serilege, or more specifically the Sharkadet format, to get the blue eyes instead of their natural colour. So we have a fire sandwich and repeat the same process that we just did for Mankey, and eventually you will get one spawn. And by eventually, I mean in my case, literally on like what, the second picnic reset that I did. This one's a little bit more awkward because you have to properly zoom in and have a look because it's just the eyes and it's easy to miss and they like to run around a lot and throw themselves off the mountain in the back and despawn and it's just generally really kind of touch and go if you get your shiny spawn at the back you got to be on it you can't just sort of afk and look back after a couple minutes once they've all spawned in because you might well just miss yours in any case i got mine he appeared and that's all well and good so there you have it ladies and gentlemen two impeccable mountain spots to grab rare shiny pokemon very very quickly abusing the fact that when well, on mountains, the spawns seem very, very limited, and you simply need to find the right spot, and you force the intended Pokemon to just constantly pour in in one location, making for the easiest shiny acquisition you could ever imagine. I hope that you have found that useful, exciting, and of course, inspiring, and good luck as always with your own shiny hunting. For now then, like you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon at down below, and without further ado, a good boy. <sighs>